there are approximately 300 million Linux distributions out there, give or take a few. That might be an overestimation, but you get the point. There are a ton of them out there. And the thing that you probably notice if you browse the Linux YouTuber space or you do any Googling about Linux or you look for a good Linux distro on DistroWatch or wherever you happen to be searching for Linux distros, you've probably seen the phrase, best Linux distro. This phrase is used over and over again, and it is used for maximum effect to garner views and page hits and clicks and all this stuff. And we could go on and on about how the SEO value of that phrase is high and there's a good reason why Linux YouTubers and Linux bloggers use it all the time, but that's not what we're really here for. What we're really here for is to determine whether or not there's actually a best Linux distro. Now, in my almost six years of using Linux full time, I've used many, many Linux distros. Some of them for long periods of time, some of them for 10 or 15 minutes, some of them not even that long. So the number of Linux distributions that I've tried is pretty high. I'm not going to say that I've tried the most. I'm sure I haven't. I'm actually 100% sure that I haven't. There are people out there, or at least Linux YouTubers out there, that try a Linux distribution every other day, right? These guys, all they do is distro videos, and they try a lot of distros, way more than I ever will. But of the ones that I've tried, I feel like I can get a pretty good sense of which one's the best, or at least you'd think so, right? And here's where the problem comes in. Despite all the Linux distributions that I've tried over the years, I really can't tell you which one's the best. Like right now, I am loving Fedora. It is probably the best Linux experience that I've ever had. Everything works, every single program that I want has either been in the repos or has been easy to build, or I've been able to find a flat pack of it. My computer has been very stable. It's just one thing after another has been just amazing. It's been so good. And while I do have some things that I dislike about it, there have been a ton of things that have just completely surprised me. Like, I was an Arch guy before this. Either Vanilla Arch or an Arch-based distro, I was, that's what I was using. And I would have sworn that I could not have abandoned the AUR. Now, I haven't missed the AUR in a couple months. Like, I can't even tell you the last time I wished for the AUR. And that is really truly say, saying something about how good I think Fedora is. But do I think Fedora is the best Linux distro? I don't know. It might be the best for me. And the thing is, is that when Linux YouTubers or Linux bloggers use the term best Linux distro and they use this thing over and over again, I've used this several times in titles of my videos. And really, I would probably bet some money into thinking that the vast majority of us who use that title don't actually think the thing that we're calling the best Linux distro is in fact the best Linux distro. What we're doing is creating a title that people want to click on. And people seem to want to click on videos that proclaim themselves as explaining or showing off the best Linux distro. So really, all that stuff is just clickbait. And again, we don't have to get into the whole SEO Thing that has to do with why that's a popular thing to do. But the question that we were here to answer was, is there a true best Linux distro? And the answer to that question has got to be, it just absolutely has got to be, absolutely effing not. Of course there's not a best Linux distro. Now, there probably is a worst Linux distro out there. If you tried all of them, you could probably find one that is really, really bad and proclaim that to be the worst one. But when it comes to the best one, really, the fact of the matter is, is that we're all special little snowflakes. I said this in a video a few days ago, and it's really true. We're all very unique people. We all have different workflows. We're all interested in different things. We all enjoy using different package managers and different programs and different shells and different desktop environments and all this stuff. Everything that goes to make up a Linux distribution, we all like different combinations of those things. And that means that whatever I would say is the best Linux distro would be different for you and your neighbor and the other guy, right? We'd all have a different definition of that. So a lot of people will swear by Arch. Like they're big Arch fans that never use anything else. A lot of people, I know a lot of people who really like Ubuntu. They use Ubuntu or they use a flavor of Ubuntu. They just are never going to use anything else. 
Same thing with Linux Mint. Same thing with Fedora. Over and over again, people have their favorites. And that's just the human nature aspect of people liking things. So the public service announcement that I wanted to give out to everyone here, to everyone who has ever been a Linux enthusiast, to those new people who are coming on board to Linux, there is absolutely no such thing as the best Linux distro. You can Google that phrase as much as you want, and you'll find many different answers to that question. What is the best Linux distribution? They'll all have different answers, and none of them will have a good explanation over why they chose what they chose. They'll say things like, it's easy to install, which is dumb because all Linux distros are pretty much easy to install if they have a GUI installer. Or they'll say it's good for gaming, which is also dumb because you can make any Linux distribution good for gaming if you know what you're doing. Or they'll say it's got a lot of software, which is also dumb because every Linux distribution has access to basically the same software, depending on how you get it. So a lot of the rationale behind saying, hey, this is the best Linux distro doesn't really make any difference because Linux is Linux. All that changes between one distro and the next really is the package manager. Underneath it all is the Linux kernel, and that is what helps you use the software that you want to use. Obviously, we're going to be dealing with different versions and stuff like that. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Okay, none of the things that go into making up the best Linux distro, according to the blog posts that you'll probably find online everywhere, really play a role in anything at all in differentiating one distro from another. It really, really doesn't. And this is something that I've talked about many, many times on the channel. I feel like a broken record when I say this, but the absolute best way to choose the distro that's for you, not necessarily the best one for everyone, but the best one for you, is to try it. Try a distro. Try another distro. Hop, 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 hop. Distro to distro to distro. And even if it takes five years, eventually you'll settle on a distribution that is perfect for you. Or maybe not perfect, but best for you. Best for your hardware. Best for the application that you want to get from a particular source. So maybe it prefers flat packs and that's the way you want to get all your software. And it's easier to get it on that distro for whatever reason because it's pre-installed or something. You know, whatever it happens to be that makes that distro best for you, that's amazing. That's good for you, right? But the whole thing, the whole experience is all about the journey. We say this all the time. It feels a little philosophical, but at the end of the day, it really is about the journey. You have to have the experience of not only how to use Linux in order to determine what is best for you, but also have the experience over what applications you're going to be choosing, how they work, what versions you need, things like that. And all of that stuff takes time. You're never going to hop right into Linux and know exactly what you want the moment you've installed Linux. It's just not going to happen because Linux is different than Windows. You're not going to find the exact same applications. And when you install applications on Ubuntu, you're going to get different versions than what you'd get on say Fedora or Arch or something like that. The version numbers will be different, so maybe you'll get some newer software on Arch that have different features or something. And you're going to have a different package delivery system on Ubuntu than you would on Arch. You know, the, the intricacies of how you get your software is going to be a little, a little bit different based on what distro you've chosen. Each and every distro that you try is going to have these little things that are a little bit different. Yes, you're going to be able to have the same experience no matter what distro you choose, but getting there, getting it set up to the point where you can actually make a Linux distribution work for you is going to take the time to learn all those things, to get all that experience that you'll need to know exactly what it is you like. When you're a baby, we're going to we're going to use a metaphor here. You don't know what kind of food you like. You don't. Uh, you just have peas shoved in your mouth by your mother or your father and you realize, oh, those things are nasty and you spit it out all over everything, you know, and then you get a little bit older and you have pizza and you realize pizza is the most wonderful food that has ever existed and you eat more and more pizza. So that's kind of the, the metaphor there, right? You have to try all these things. Like maybe you like calamari or you like, you know, escargot or something, I don't know, something exotic that you really want to eat, you know, whatever. You don't know that you like those things until you've tried it. And that's the same thing with Linux. You don't know how you like to do anything in Linux until you've tried a particular workflow, a particular application, a particular distro, 
And at the end of the day, it's the experience of doing those things that's going to lead you to the best Linux distro, but it's only going to be for you. You can't say, hey, I've found the best Linux distro. Maybe you have, but it's only for you because what's good for you doesn't necessarily mean it's good for me and vice versa. So I've gotten very preachy in this video. And the reason why is because I've been trolling around the internet for some video ideas and I've seen this video title over and over and over again on many Linux YouTubers videos. And like I said, I'm not going to blame those guys who use this. I've used it, so I can't blame them. That'd be throwing rocks at glass glass walls or whatever the saying is. So I can't blame them, but I just had to get in here and ramble for a little bit about how there is no true best Linux distro. That's just, it doesn't exist. And if you continue to look for it, if you consider, continue to seek this perfection, you're probably going to be mostly disappointed because you're going to keep taking advice from people who keep saying this thing is the best ever. And when you try it, you're going to realize you know, the audio doesn't work or the networking stack is broken or it doesn't have access to all the versions of the software that I need or whatever. And you're going to realize, well, this YouTuber has misled me, you know, and I can't trust them anymore. And I just don't want to be in that situation for me anymore. So despite the fact that I will probably continue to use clickbait titles in my YouTube videos, because that's the way you have to do anything on YouTube, just know that I know that there is no best Linux distro out there. So that is it for this video. If you have comments on this, you can leave those comments in the comment section below. If you want to harangue me for using the title that I'm sure I'm going to use in this video, you can do that down there as well. You can follow me on uh, Twitter at the Linux Cash. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash the Linux Cash, just like all these fine people. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all amazing people i can't even begin to say how thankful that i am that you guys support me so thank you so much for your support thanks everybody for watching i'll see you next time